Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and welcome back to another thrifty video. Today, we are going to be reprising a very, very important concept, and that is the concept of the Bolo brand. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about so many good brands to thrift and resell online. If you guys don't know me, I am a full-time thrifting content creator and reseller, so, I really enjoy teaching you guys how to thrift and resell online. If that's a part-time thing, if that's a thing to help you make your ends meet, that's amazing. If it's your full-time job, any of the above, this should be really helpful to you. I am going to cover today a hundred great brands to thrift and resell. Some of them are going to be a little bit well-known, but most of these are really kind of amazing brands that not many people know about. So this should be super helpful to you. As always, one of my biggest gripes and my biggest things that really help is when you can see the tag of a brand that you were looking for in the thrift store. Many of these tags and many of these brands are really unique. And so if you have never seen that tag, it's gonna be almost impossible for you to know what it is in the thrift store and pick it up and then resell it for hundreds of dollars but the more times you see it, the more you'll recognize it. So this should be an invaluable resource to you guys. It takes a lot of work and a lot of effort to put these videos together. So if you guys could give today's video a thumbs up and hit subscribe, if you haven't subscribed already, that would be so helpful to my channel, but let's do it. We're gonna jump into a hundred great brands to thrift and resell, and we're gonna move quickly because this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot of information, but we're gonna have the brand tag up here on the screen and we're gonna jump right into it. Are you ready? Let's do this thing. So the first brand on this list is Alice McCall, a really nice brand, higher end, should resell for at least probably around $100. Number two is Alame, another really expensive brand, one with an interesting tag, one that you definitely wanna make sure you know what it is. They have some really gorgeous floral dresses, and so I would say floral dresses do really well, but also just like anything from this brand will probably resell for quite a bit of money. And also something about the tag of this is very luxe looking, and you're gonna see that across the board. A nice tag will look different than a cheap tag. And I want to do a video about tags eventually, so we'll probably cover more information on how to tell if a tag is expensive in the future, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Okay, number three is Hill House. I've talked about Hill House a lot of times. It's a really beautiful company, and they make gorgeous dresses. They also make other things too, but like the dresses are what they're most known for. Then Dale of Norway. Dale of Norway, a lot of more like sometimes knit pieces, Fair Isle, Usually, usually pretty chunky. They're usually a little chunkier knits. Number five is Norma Kamali. Very nice brand. This is also sometimes sold at Revolve. I sold a dress from her before for like I think $80. And I also have a top from her that I found more recently that's still in my closet that I'm selling. Um, and so great brand, great brand to know. Number six is Karen Millen, which is a newer brand to me. I would say that you're really looking for a more substantial piece from this brand, like a jacket, a longer dress. Those were tending to go for close to $100, sometimes more. But this is a brand I didn't know until I was doing this research. And so I feel like that is quite helpful. And then we have the Antisocial Social Club, which is a really cool name, but also a really cool brand. And I would say that their tees can do pretty well. We're not gonna be making tons of money off of this, but around 50 bucks for some of their graphic tees and they're kind of fun looking. Number eight is Canada Goose, really great outdoor wear brand. Anything from this brand is gonna sell for tons of money. If you found a coat from them, crazy. A hat, also crazy. Number nine, Frank and Eileen. Frank and Eileen makes a lot of kind of more elevated basics. I talked about them in my 2024 style trends video. Um, but Frank and Eileen, even their little button downs, like even a thin shirt from them will sell for like 70 bucks, which is crazy. Number 10 is Paloma Wool, and as the name suggests, wool pieces can do really well from them. Then we have Zadig and Voltaire. Zadig and Voltaire is more of a designer level brand. They're very expensive retail. The resale isn't usually as high of a retention rate um, of that price, but it still is a good one to resell. So I had them on the list. And then number 12 is Neely Lotan. I've talked about them many times. Neely Lotan is a great brand. And basically anything from this brand will sell for over $100. So pants and dresses and tops, all really good information. And also my computer's right down here. So if I'm looking down, just know that my computer is down here. Um, but yes, so Neely Lotan, great brand. 
13 is Dooney and Burke. I have sold so much Dooney and Burke in my day. Some of their leather pieces will go for more. Some of their just like plain monogram bags that are like nylon, things like that. Those won't sell for as much, but the brand in general is a good one to know. And it's pretty recognizable with this little um, duck logo. So it's pretty cute. Number 14 is a new to me brand. It's Queen of Sparkles, which sounds a little bit like a fake brand that you would find online that's all selling the same things that are sold on like Shein and Taimu and whatever all the things are. But Queen of Sparkles, honestly, really cute stuff. Like very girly, very quirky. It reminds me um, a little bit of Wild Fox, but kind of elevated maybe from that. But a lot of the stuff was reselling for like $100. So Queen of Sparkles is not to be slept on. It also sounds a little bit like something that someone would name their pet or something. Like if they're a child, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, number 15 is Alexander Wang really good brand another more like designer level brand that also you know has some nicer pieces we have some shoes from them that would do really good and now that i'm thinking about this i don't think i put jill sander on this list but jill sander also amazing I'll give you a little freebie in with jill sander right there number 16 is veronica beard amazing brand i love selling this brand i have found some really good pieces. Their blazers can do really well. Their pants do well. Basically everything can do really well from this brand. Dresses, shoes, all of the above. Definitely want to be on the lookout for. Number 17 is Becklina, which is also new to me, but pretty great brand. Like shoes, sweaters, a lot of their shoes were selling for over $100 and they were really cute. They also had some like hats and scarf combos that sold for like $75 and up which is crazy to me um but also swimsuits like they have a lot of things very interesting and I would definitely take a look at that tag number 18 is acne so acne actually stands for mm, I cannot remember what it stands for but it stands for something it's not like acne on the face it is literally an acronym <laughs> an acne acronym um, but the brand itself can do really well, especially the more recent pieces. I have found one vintage piece once, but other than that, I have not found it again. Number 19 is Patagonia. This is a more recognizable brand, but it is a good brand to know. I'm thinking especially like outdoor pieces, tea snap pullovers, things like that. A lot of their more like thinner materials and things are not going to sell for as much. So again, all of these are great brands to know and not everything from every brand will sell for a ton of money but at least one category from each of these brands is gonna sell for good money. Number 20, Rebecca Minkoff, and this is really focusing on bags. So anything like a leather purse is really gonna do well. Number 21 is Tucker Nuck, which is kind of um, a misnomer in that Tucker Nuck is very similar to an Anthropology or Revolve in that they sell multiple brands all at their store. And so Tucker Nuck, they do have their own brand, but also there are other brands like Pomander Place and things that are sold at their store. So Tucker Nuck itself is really good and will resell for good money. And anything sold at Tucker Nuck will usually also sell for good money. Number 22 is Kate Spade. And we're really looking at purses, but also like coats and things like that from Kate Spade tend to do really well. I have especially sold really, really nice pink bags from Kate Spade for incredible money and very quickly. So that's something to be noted as well. I think pink and like the more girly colors do tend to do well. Number 23 is Lejeune's, which makes jeans, but also other clothing as well. Lejeune's really great brand also can be sold at Nordstrom, but it's also going to be expensive there. So Lejeune's great brand to know. 24 is Hoka. These aren't selling for as much as they have in the past, but it also depends on which style you find. Some of the styles from Hoka can do really well. I'm thinking like the Bondi 8, the Bondi 9, things like that. It's hard to find them for under $75, especially even secondhand on Poshmark or eBay. So depending on what style you find, if you find a really beat up one that is a really common style and a really common color scheme, it's probably not going to sell for as much, but that is still great shoes. So 25 is Self Portrait. Very, very good brand. If you find a dress from them, it can sell for good money. So self-portrait, always one to be on the lookout for. And as I mentioned, we're going pretty quickly through these brands. If I don't, we're going to be here all day. But this is a brand video list that I am wanting this to be a resource for you. I want you to be able to come back and watch this over and over again and re-familiarize yourself with these brands by watching those tags over and over. So hopefully I'm going fast enough that you guys will be able to Rewatch this, use it how you need to as a resource to you. Number 26 is Arcteryx, 
really nice brand. I have found a polo before from them, but they make men's wear, but also women's wear, as well as a lot of really good outdoor pieces. I also found a pair of shoes the other day. That was interesting. Number 27 is Brahmin, another bag and purse kind of brand. Brahmin bags tend to sell pretty well and close to $100. Number 28 is Alex Mill. And a lot of the pieces from this are gonna be more like sweaters, but Alex Mill, really expensive, really nice pieces. Number 29, Rudy Jude, not to be confused with Judy Blue. It is very confusing, but Rudy Jude, a lot of the pieces can sell for hundreds of dollars. We're looking at jeans, but also they have other pieces as well. I saw a blouse that just recently sold for $200, which I found to be crazy, but it's a good brand to know. Number 30 is Nicholas. This is a brand that can also be sold at Revolve, but Nicholas is an Australian brand and some of their dresses can sell for good money and also very beautiful. I love their pieces. Number 31 is Revolve, and this is similar to Tucker Nuck and Anthropology in that a lot of brands are sold at Revolve and it's not just one name Revolve. So an example of a few of these brands would be a Song of Style, great brand. Gizio, I think I could be mispronouncing that. Of course, the label will be on the screen. Helsa, which is an incredible resale value on that one. La Academy, <laughs> I, I'm gonna butcher them, but that's okay. Um, those are just a few examples of some Revolve brands that sell for good money. I've actually made an entire brands list just on great brands to resell that are from Revolve. And I think that's a really helpful resource. But I'll leave a card up above for you guys if you guys wanna watch that video too after this one. That is really helpful. I think I did 50 Revolve brands in that because it's kind of hard to know what things are actually sold there unless you do the research. So 32, Faraday, and they make a lot of plaids and really nice, like more like casual pieces. Number 33, House of CB. This is one I've talked about a couple of times because I feel like nobody knows this brand. They make some really nice dresses, more like party-ish, like going out pieces. So that's a good one to know. 34, Mac de Gaulle, great formal wear brand. If you find some of their gowns, they do sell for good money. 35 is on running. You will notice that a lot of the on running shoes have the little clouds on the bottom. That's the best way to find them. And obviously their logo is a little interesting as well, but I find them to sell for around 50 bucks and up. Number 36 is John Barbados. This is, I think they he mostly designs just for men, but he has shoes and other pieces too. All of them do really well. 37, Brochu Walker, really nice brand. Again, a lot of the cashmere pieces are gonna do really well. Sweaters, things that are thicker. 38, Alice and Olivia, which I feel like has kind of been on decline recently, but also still, even if I found an Alice and Olivia piece today, I would be excited about it and I would probably be able to sell it for around $50, which is less than it used to sell for, but still a good amount. Number 39 is Anning Bing, which is one of my personal, like I cannot wait to find. I wanna find it so bad. I don't know why, but their sweatshirts are so cute and I want one so bad, um, maybe someday, but Anning Bing, definitely like hundreds of dollars probably for those pieces. Some of them a little bit less, but a really good brand. Number 40, could be totally butchering this, Loro Piana. And this has a very unassuming tag and I think that it would be really easy to miss this at a thrift store, but Loro Piana, a lot of their pieces are made in Italy. Um, there's cashmere, there's sweaters. Some of them are for men, some of them are for women, but again, really unassuming tags. Make sure you pay attention to the tag. Then we have Realization Par, which also goes by Realization without the par, um, but more trendy pieces. Again, I think this is also sold at Revolve. It's a really nice brand and will resell for really good money. And then number 42 is Viore, which is a similar brand to a Lululemon, things like that. But I have been selling Viore really well lately and I feel like it is selling much faster for me than Lululemon. So I wanted to put that on this list as well. Number 43, a really strange tag is Rat and Boa. It sounds just as strange as it is, Rat and Boa, but their pieces were selling for over $100. So really incredible brand to know. And that tag looks crazy. Like I would never have known what it even said. It'd be so hard to look up if I didn't already see it. So pay attention to that tag too. It's a weird one. Number 44 is UGG, which some people are sleeping on, but y'all trying to get through this Christmas season and finding a pair of UGG Tasman slippers was a next level hurdle. If you were looking, you knew. But anything that is more unique from UGG, I have been selling 
Ugg boots on whatnot for like 50 bucks. People are looking for Ugg boots, not just necessarily the normal looking ones, but like different unique pairs, but also their slippers do really well. So if you want to sleep on it, go ahead, but you've been warned and I will pick it up if you don't. <laughs> Then number 45, Rose Carmine, mohair sweaters, cardigans. A lot of their things are colorful and really fun, and I really like this brand, but again, hundreds of dollars, maybe a hundred at least for that brand. 46 is Farm Rio, which is a really colorful, tropical, fun brand, really good resale value. ALC, very, very expensive brand, and should do really well for people. I have recently found a dress from them. I haven't sold it yet. I've literally only found one piece in all of my time thrifting. But if I had not been doing these brand videos for you guys, there's no way I would have known what it was. And so I thank myself for doing this research and hopefully it's helping you guys too. I really hope it is. So let me know if it's helped you guys find any of these brands before. I would love to hear some feedback on if this is helping you. But number 48, the brand is White and Warren but not everything from this brand is what you're looking for. I would say their cashmere pieces is really what I would hone in on. Um, cashmere in general is amazing, but White and Warren's cashmere pieces were selling for $50 and up. So I think that's important and really helpful. 49, Reformation. Obviously, Reformation is very popular with the youngsters these days. They have some trendy pieces, really cute. Number 50, House of Sunny. Very, um, you know, kind of sunny, like fun, inspiring kind of pieces. Um, those should do well for you. Number 51 is Dr. Martens or Doc Martens as the people call them. Really fun boots. They sell really well. 52, Syncacept, which what is five to seven, I think is the name. Is that, yeah, I think it's French, right? Really nice kind of quiet luxury pieces, elevated basics, really nice pieces that sell for good money. Number 53 is Aloe Yoga. And I'm not just talking about like tank tops from this, but some of their pieces can do really well. Like some of their sweatshirts and leggings, like they do great. And <laughs> they kind of, I feel like they kind of fly under the radar. I picked up a jumpsuit in the bins the other day and I sold it for like $70 and I had so much interest. So depending on what piece you find, they can do really well. Number 54 is Beholden. I've talked about them a lot. I just, I really like this brand. It's an anthropology wedding brand and they resell for like $100 for a dress. If you find one of their wedding dresses, which is what I got my wedding dress from as well, those will sell for hundreds of dollars. 55, Alexander McQueen. I have found this brand twice now in the wild and Alexander McQueen, great designer level brand. Even the spinoff, like the diffusion label can do really well. 56, Aritzia, we're over halfway. <laughs> Hold on, hang in there with me, this is helpful. Aritzia is another one of those brands that sells other brands at it. So like Wilfred and Babaton are both great brands from Aritzia TNA. Um, number 57 is Doen, which is very similar to Hill House in that it has really beautiful kind of timeless pieces, more like prairie core kind of a feel. 58 is Rails and their flannels can do well. Other pieces from them that do well, dresses, jumpsuits. I think they, I don't think they make jeans, but a lot of the, a lot of things from Rails can do pretty well. It's not gonna be crazy money. It's not gonna be over a hundred dollars, but you know, like 35, 50 bucks, not bad. 59, Fear of God. Now that's the opposite. That will be a lot of money. Like Fear of God is another really high level, really expensive brand. Good to know. And then 60 is Everlane. And Everlane, it really depends on what you find, but a more substantial piece will do better. I'm thinking even like jackets and coats do great and silk pieces, dresses, things like that. Then 61 is R13, which is, I think they make mostly denim. I could be wrong, but I think um, their main focus might be jeans, but they also have shoes, they have tops, and they have a lot of great things that all sell for like $100. So good one to know. 62 is Perfect Moment, which is a wonderful kind of outdoorsy, I'm going sledding, skiing, snowboarding kind of a feel. Anything from that brand will sell for hundreds of dollars. It's a great brand to know. Very, very nice. 63 is Vince, which I personally love selling. <laughs> Vince and Theory are kind of, some people feel iffy about them, but I sell pieces from Vince and Theory all the time. Vince, even ca especially like a cashmere, a wool piece from Vince will do really well. Then we have 64, Golden Goose. I would love to find a Golden Goose pair of sneakers. I saw somebody wearing one the other day and I literally turned to Jeremy and was like, he's wearing Golden Gooses, but it was not quiet. And I was like, wow, I'm so embarrassing. But Golden Goose, they have very, very expensive shoes. So 
Um, I would love to find that someday. Jenny Kane, another really nice brand. Their sweaters are so sought after and they will sell for great money, hundreds of dollars. But yeah, so their sweaters, their sweater dresses, they're very, very nice and they will do really well for y'all. So good one to know. Number 66 is Rothy's. I have seen Rothy's not doing as well as they previously had, but they still can sell for good money. I'm still saying like over $50. So I want to include Rothy's on here. If you find them in the wild, if you find them thrifting, then they're totally worth it. Then we have Colt Gaia, which is more of a kind of edgier brand. Um, but Colt Gaia, they do really well <laughs> resale wise. They have great bags and shoes and dresses, hundreds of dollars for a swimsuit. It's crazy. The things that they make are just going straight to the top. So good to know. Number 68 is Smart Wool, which even if you find socks from this brand, they will resell for good money. Like it's crazy. I found a pair of Smart Wool socks in the bins the other day. They're Jeremy's size and that man is a lucky, lucky man for what I bring him. But Smart Wool, we're looking at, you know, basically anything will do pretty well from Smart Wool. They make really nice pieces. Number 69, Aviator Nation. I've talked about them many times. Aviator Nation, their sweat sets, their jackets, anything will do really well. Then Bronx and Bongo, which is great for dresses. They're a more formal wear brand, kind of similar to Mac DeGaulle as well. And they're also sold on Beholden's website, which is also including other brands, much like an Anthropology, which makes sense, and Revolve. Then 71 is Proenza Schuler, great, more designer level brand, really nice pieces, will resell for at least close to $100 usually. Then we have Love Shack Fancy, which is very girly, which is really supposed to pop off this year. So I'm really thinking Love Shack Fancy is going to do even better and better. Um, similar to Spell and the Gypsy as well. I don't think I have that on this list, but there's just so many great brands out there. And once you start diving deep into this world, you just keep finding more. So Love Shack Fancy, um, really nice. Lots of ruffles, lots of lace, lots of fun, cute details. Really good brand to know as well as uh, Spell and the Gypsy, which now you have heard that one as well. Then we have Lululemon, which I feel like is a common brand that you just kind of need to know. I find it often overlooked at my thrift store because the rip tag has been ripped off, which is what you're supposed to do. So often just knowing what it feels like is the most important thing and recognizing where they place their labels on their clothing is gonna be the only way to know it's Lululemon. Then we have Johnny Was, which is another really <laughs> great brand. Things with embroidery, things that are silk, things with the patterns are gonna do well. It's usually about $50 and up. It depends on what you find though. If you find an embroidered tunic or something, it could be maybe $100 or more. Then we have Rollas, R-O-L-L-A-S. They are jeans and some of their jeans can do really well, especially if they're more like a retro kind of a vibe. I found that those were selling for a little bit more money. Some will go for better than others. And then some of them, if they were sold on Revolve, can do even better than just a normal pair of Rolas. Then we have Made Worn, which are really nice pieces. I found this one time. This is another inspiration for this series of videos of brands is that I found a Made Worn pair of jeans once and I didn't know what they were because I was, it was early on in my reselling career and that pair of jeans probably could have resold for at least $100 and I didn't know. So now I know, and hopefully you do too, Made Worn, really good brand. Things that look vintage and that have been repurposed and you will find the Made Worn tag on them. Very helpful, very good brand. Number 77 is Low Fleur Randall. I think the majority of what they make are shoes and that's the only things I've really found, but they probably make other accessories as well. But we're looking at around $100 for shoes, for bags. There's some really great things from this brand and again, more designer level, so really cute stuff. And then we have Taylor Stitch, which is a lot of menswear pieces. They are really sought after and really expensive. So a lot of pieces will sell for at least $50. And I don't think I know many people that know this brand. And so definitely one to be on the lookout for. Then we have Redone, which is a little bit similar to Made Worn in that Redone takes pieces and then they rework them to be different and so there's denim and there's other pieces as well like but i would say the majority of their pieces are denim they do have cardigans and sweaters and things like that too and a lot of the pieces will sell for hundreds of dollars which is crazy so there we go and then we have hill house on this list again but i already talked about that one so one of my other freebies that will count for number 80. <laughs> number 81 is aaron crafts aaron crafts is a great brand but also just a vibe a chunky knit 
more like made in Ireland kind of a sweater. Has a very specific vibe, a fisherman sweater. They sell really well. Erin Crafts Market though, I'll put the tag up on the screen. That one if you find it, great selling brand. Number 82 is Fig, F-I-G-U-E. Great brand to know, sells really well. There's so many brands that this is like bringing to mind. Even as I say Fig, I'm like, oh, that reminds me of Fry. And Fry is a great brand. I didn't put it on this list. But Fig, a lot of their pieces have more like some embroidery. They're a boho kind of a fit, a boho kind of style. But a lot of their pieces will sell for close to $100. So great brand to know. I think they mostly make women's clothing as well. Number 83 is Montclair. Very, very nice brand. If you find a coat from them, very expensive, can resell for hundreds of dollars. Even their hats sell for like $100, like a beanie, a winter beanie, $100, crazy, right? Then 84 is a Goldie, which another denim brand, but also I think they make some tops as well, but mostly a focus on jeans. And a lot of pieces will sell for at least 50 bucks. Same thing sort of with mousy vintage denim. If you find new tags pieces, 200 bucks, pretty easy. If you find pieces that are used, over 100 though. So still good no matter what you find. I have found this in the wild once and it sold for me for over $100. So really good brand to know. 86 for Love and Lemons, for Love and Lemons and Spell and the Gypsy and Love Shack Fancy. Those all kind of fit in the same realm for me at least. For Love and Lemons has the same kind of feel, a lot of more like girly dresses, things like that. A lot of cute pieces selling for around $100. Then 87 is Retrofit, which is another brand that can sometimes be sold at Revolve. Really expensive brand. If you find this, like, good for you. But their dresses can sell for good money. Even used ones are selling for over $100. I'm seeing, I'm on Poshmark looking at sold right now. There's a jacket that sold for $140. This dress sold for $425. Like, shocking. Absolutely shocking prices. 88, St. John, an amazing brand, really high quality, really embodies that quiet luxury aesthetic and usually has a more mature audience who can pay more for their clothes. So a lot of these brands are kind of trendy and exciting and new. St. John is one of those brands that's been around for a while and will continue to do amazing pieces that are really high quality. I love that. A lot of their pieces will really sell for around $100, which we love. Then we have Mage, M-A-J-E. Another brand that can sometimes be sold at Revolve, places like that. And some of their pieces do well. Some of them do not do as well. So you want to be a little bit more, you know, um, you want to be a little bit more discerning when you're picking out pieces. But things that are more substantial, like a jacket, a jean, things like that, they do really well. So keep that in mind when you're looking for this brand. I found one the other day and I was really excited about it. Number 90 is anthropology, but not all anthropology is created equal. It just definitely depends on what kind of price point you're looking to sell things at for as well. So I have here a few examples are Pilcro, Farm Rio, Jenny Yu, Monique Louier, and Suckin and Babby. All of those can do pretty well for you. And some of these, especially like Suckin and Babby and Monique Louier at Farm Rio, Anthropology holds more than just an anthropology brand that they sell at their stores. So this is just a couple brands that are sold there, but I made a whole video on anthropology brands as well because there are so many and a lot of them can sell for good money. So again, I will put a card up there for you. Make sure to check out the rest of this playlist after you watch this video because there's a lot more knowledge that I have to share. We're going quickly through these. So 91, we're in the final 90s is Mason Martin Margiela. An amazing brand, really high comps, really expensive, really interesting tag that no one knows. So make sure you look at that tag because that really is going to help you find this brand. Number 92 is Mother, Mother Denim, Mother Jeans. They do well and they sell for good money, at least 50 bucks, usually closer to like 75 to 100. Number 93 is an extremely expensive brand that I had not heard of and it's called Zhivago could be mispronouncing that so make sure you look at the screen as well z-h-i-v-a-g-o zhivago hundreds of dollars if you find this brand and this is also similar to zimmerman which is not on this list but is another really expensive brand that will sell for hundreds of dollars number 94 is ayr their jeans sell for great money ayr and maybe you can pronounce it air but i'm pretty sure it's just an acronym as well, A-Y-R. But 95 is AMO, A-M-O, which is not an acronym and spells out love, I believe in Spanish. But AMO jeans can do really well. They can sell for, you know, like 65 to 
96 is Issey Miyake, which another amazing, really expensive brand. Lots of the pieces are reselling for around $100. I had this long dress sold for $100. I don't know why, but this vintage one sold for $800. How long ago did that sell? Two hours ago. Shocking. What is happening? Issey Miyake, I need to know what secret sauce you're putting in your clothes. Um, but yeah, interesting tag. Probably would pass it over in the thrift store if it was me without knowing anything. So good to know. Then we have Saloni, which is another really nice brand. I recently found it for the first time, but a lot of their pieces can resell for hundreds of dollars. It just depends on what you find. And if it's new with tags, it'll sell for a lot. So good brand to know. Then we have Cezanne. Love this brand. It's a French brand and they have gorgeous pieces. I actually have recently heard that Taylor Swift wears a lot of Cezanne. I don't know if that's true or not, but good enough for her, good enough for me. You know what I'm saying? Then we have Margaret Howell, which she is known for sweaters and their sweaters can do really well. Probably sell for around $50 and up, maybe a little bit more even. And then 100, the 100th brand on this list is Totem, which I actually found recently. Really expensive brand. All of their pieces are. I found a pair of jeans and they sold um, the same hour I listed them for over $100. So really great brand to know. A lot of these brands are at least a hundred dollar resale value, which is amazing because that is like the dream. If I could go to the thrift store every day for the rest of my life and find one item that resells for a hundred dollars, if I'm going every week, that's amazing. Like that profit adds up quickly. Now this is not an exhaustive list. I could literally sit here and spew out labels at you and brands at you for forever and probably not cover every single amazing brand. So I think it'd be really helpful if you guys have another brand that wasn't on this list that you think is also a great seller. Let us know in the comments down below. I love encouraging people to share the knowledge that they have, to share the experiences that they've had because there is so much to go around. And I would like to encourage you too that if somebody else is succeeding, that doesn't detract from your own success. It's so helpful to try to help other people to also reach success. And if I can do that by sharing these brand videos with you guys, then I will love to do so. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys appreciated the effort I put into this video, it took a lot of time please, please give me a thumbs up as a thank you. If you wouldn't leave me a super things, like I'm not mad about it, but also the biggest way to support me is to subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out so, so much. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and until the next video, bye.